Hey guys, welcome back to Ganshi Plans. I found the image image stabilization setting on my camera, so hopefully it won't be as um, sea sickness inducing as last week. Today we're doing a weekly plan with me. Um, it's a new month and I've printed out some new weeklies. I just like changing things up a lot. So um, this last month I've been using, was it for two months now? I've been using insert number 28 from my shop, GanshiPlans.com, that um, has these dailies with like the faux Dutch door, which is a lot of fun. Um, I've been enjoying preferring to have something that's like an all-in-one dailies and weeklies together. Um, so just to switch things up, um, and because I don't know if I've ever actually used these since I released them, I'm going to be using this insert number 68, which is weekly with fold out list, I think is what it's called. Um, and so what we've got here, and I still have to actually fold it in, um, to-do list on one side, seven boxes for each day of the week, um, columns for dailies, like rapid log dailies, and then a note section on this side. So this should be plenty of space. Um, let me just go ahead and fold everything in. I'm just sort of in half. Um, I'm going to put them in here so I know exactly where the edge of the page is supposed to be. And then I'll just sort of fold these up. Uh, oh yeah, I was going to take my nail polish off before I started filming. Sorry about that. It's been it's been flaking and chipping and I've just been picking at it. All right, that ought to do it for now. Um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and remove it just because I can. It's easy with the discs. I'm still using this A6. This is the A6 size uh, disc planner. I just DIY'd it myself. And we're going to be doing our plan with me here and see if we can actually see the whole thing. Um, so what's fun is I got some new highlighters. Um, I mentioned in a couple of videos that my, um, my Zebra Mild Liners were drying out and I needed to replace them. And I thought, you know what, let me try something else. Um, just to kind of, you know, see what else is on the market. And since I didn't want to get something that was just like a blatant ripoff or dupe, I thought I'd get, um, these. And I did swatch them all, and then mm, uh, there's a whole bunch of these colors. There's a 24 pack, um, but they're standing up in my drawer so nicely that I don't want to pull them all out yet. But I thought they would go nicely with these, um, this color combo. Where is the rest of them? I had this whole set. Oh, here we go. Um of these stickers from Twin 16 with these like lovely muted colors. And I thought that some of these highlighters would go really well. Um, so I'm going to, oh, I know. Grab some of the scratch paper from trimming my inserts and see what I can find that would be a good match. I should have done this beforehand, but here we go. So these are the four colors I think we'll be using today. I think that'll go well with this set of, of stickers. And um, yeah, so I didn't say these are Zayar highlighters. There's vintage and cream sets of colors um, and whatever that means. And they're just these nice mild liner type, but they're quite chunky and a different size and all that. Anyway, thought it'd be fun to try that out. So this is what we're using today. Um, and I've got all these tiny little icons. I also pulled out my old housekeeping, like housework stamps um, that <laughs> I haven't used in a while. I probably will not be using these today as I'm filming, but I thought I would pull these out and maybe start to try to use them since as a stay-at-home mom, I'm doing quite a lot of housework. Um, so let's get started. I think I'm going to pull out to the side here, my last week's weekly, because there's a lot of sort of recurring tasks that are like a once a week thing. Um, 
So we will be keeping that in mind. Um, I should probably also pull out the other set of stickers from 2016. They're the same colors. Um, they're all like, I use these for like content planning type activities. Let's see, this one, this one, this one. Yeah, these are duplicates. Alright. All that away. Sticker binder. Okay. We're gonna go for a nice cohesive look today. Oh, I was gonna swatch the highlighters again. I think I'll do that later. So let's see. The I think I'll start by Identifying the days of the week somehow, probably with more stickers. Um, I've got choices. Lots of weekends. Okay. <laughs> I never throw out used <laughs> sticker sheets. Uh, let's see, are these Wednesday here too wide for? I can't really tell. Yeah, it's too wide, unless I want to do it this way. I think maybe. This is the other choice. Um, let's go ahead and use these. And these. We've got tweezers joining the party. And we'll go ahead and start with um, this one. And sort of do, I know, I'll do the weekend a different color. So highlight these edges. Mm. I shouldn't be so afraid to just turn my page. Okay. Add some dots. Days. I don't know. It feels like February would never end, but at the same time, it went by so quickly. Is that weird? I guess that's just the way it works. Um, time moves simultaneously fast and slow, and somehow you're always surprised by it, even though it's always the same way. Um, I feel like the year will never end, like the school year will never end, at the same time it'll never, or it's like the end is so far away. Time means something different um, to me right now with like life being at a different pace. Um, I still do sort of live week to week, but not really in the same way that I did when I had a desk job. So, I know this isn't probably making any sense. These are days of the week. And then put some dates. Um, what day even is it? Six. Let's just start up here. So I've started to have some things that are sort of once a week type events again, which is nice um, to be able to sort of copy things over. I kind of feel like I, I almost like planning out crazy weeks that are different from usual because it gives me like a reason to write things down. Um, but again, like a lot of these uh, weekly events are still relatively new, and so I don't want to forget them. So I do have a reason to write them down. Let's see, here we go. All right, I'm gonna put some highlight colors up here. Ah, wiggly. It could be worse. Um, at least having the black lines makes it feel. Uh, straight even if it isn't and then I'll do this darker is that the one I used no oh, I used that yeah this is the one I used all right I'll use this one over here some of these highlighter colors are very similar to each other and you know what I actually have some good washies that would work okay here I think 
I will just put like a little, little bit here. Oh no, that, that slipped. I don't know what happened to the card I used to use for my washi tape. This is like the top half of a like a coupon for man, I couldn't even tell you which meal prep kit that is, but because I don't use those. I've been using the extra time I have to cook from scratch more if, if I can. Um, yeah, without paying convenience fees. Um, and then I need more um, some more of these. Let's see, let's try to see if there's anything good in here. The fruity ones. Something cute. Something pink. Grapes. I don't know, it's spring, right? Something that makes it feel springy, even though they're very gray colors. It's been raining a lot. What's this one? Oh, that's the same one. All right, well, I guess that's it then. Ugh. Use the pink one. And clean up the stickers later. Use this down here. So I got these little tins of decorative flaky washi stickers off Amazon a while ago. Do you like them? I can link anything down below. If I haven't done that, then remind me. Um, I would be happy to. There we go. See? Cute, yeah. And then this will be like for some dailies, and then this is general note taking, but I can also do dailies over here if I run out of space in these columns. Um, and now let's start adding events. My monthly shows me that we've got a birthday party on Saturday. So let's go ahead and put that in. Mm, this is something this will do. Um, we'll probably do a dinner column here. So maybe I will... Eh, let me see. First of all, let's just do... So I've explained this before. Um, I haven't been putting dates in my paper planning so much because like that goes in my my phone calendar. And that usually just is enough. Um, unless I'm using like a time ladder or I have a particularly busy day where I feel like I need to put it all visually in order. Um, but yeah, it hasn't been, it's been working okay. Um, then definitely need to remember daylight savings is ending. So I'll use one of these little these uh, right here. Um, Oh no, like I said, I'm gonna put my dinner plans on the side there. Oh, oops, oops. Am I? Am I though? Uh oh. Forgot these aren't movable. So used to my Mad Hatter and um, uh, Planner Kate stickers being movable. All right. Oh, and so that means. You know what that means? We spring forward. I messed this up. Um, I'll just put clocks change. Um, so I'm going to put a bedtime here. Uh, like here, like this. With like a little checkbox to set the clock every day. Um, so let's see, Saturday night, okay, Sunday night bedtime will be eight o'clock. Um, and yeah, 
have to change it before then. I'm going to pause for a second and I'm going to Google this because I've messed it up before. So the internet tells me you're supposed to move bedtime backwards leading up to daylight savings. So it would be 7.50, and then seven o'clock will spring forward to be eight o'clock. Right, okay, so so on Saturday night it'll still be considered, I'll, I'll start it on Tuesday. So it'll be 7.10. That's ridiculous. 720, 730, 740, 47, 40, just put 745, uh, 750, and this is still 8 o'clock. This one won't need any changing. So then I'll have to change the clock, or change the, um, the okay to wake thing. It'll set bedtime. Um, okay, this will be complicated, probably more complicated than necessary, and we're probably still going to go over time, but at least it'll sort of get the routine going at a different time. So by Friday, we're going to be eating something very simple and going to bed very early. Um, so that'll be nice, right? And sort of. Okay. And then at least we hopefully won't be losing an entire hour of sleep all at once just slowly as we go. Um, and then I'm gonna put dinner in this pink color, I guess. Um, like here. Okay. Um, and I think I already had plans for Friday's dinner, but I don't remember Friday's meatless because it's Lent. So it's the special, like, have to plan for it stuff. Um, then, I don't know, what do you guys use these for? Comment below and let me know what you use these little thought bubble tear drop thingies for. Do you use them in any particular direction? Are they really like thought bubbles? Are they, like, good for locations? Or, like, I don't know. Do you, do you use them with this type of little guy? Because um, they would fit in there nicely, you know? But then it seems a little bit superfluous to use two stickers on top of each other. Okay, so we had that party, and then um, on Friday we're doing a holy hour. I'll just put that here. That's my Lenten practice that I'm working into our right routine is to do a holy hour before pickup on. Thursday, then on Friday, we've got park day. And we've got possibly, yeah. And library. One and or the other. And we'll see if we can maybe bring them along. That'd be fun. And then it's also, oh yeah. I'll put this one, this one. So on Thursday is the night that my husband and I have decided to be our, like, don't get, like we have things that we're doing, you know, like making videos or working, you know, work work or whatever. Um, but we're going, we set aside Thursday night to do something together, something fun. Last week we played Portal together. Um, the week before that we watched something. Um, all right, this looks enough like a TV that I'm gonna put this um, on here. We've got um, Mandalorian, comes out on Wednesdays. Oof. I'm pretty sure it's a uh, I A N. I'm a terrible speller. Uh, then Tuesdays is there's a story time on Tuesdays also, and I don't know. I don't usually make it. 
because it's 1 p.m. It's the baby story time for like, you know, infants, which it fits his schedule better, but I do have a toddler who wants to nap around then. Um, she usually doesn't get enough of a nap because, um, you know, I've got a pickup and stuff like that. But, and then we've got school mass. Let's put that here. All right, so those are the events for the week, I think. I might want to highlight some more of these. Like, this is the moment of truth to see if this is dried out enough. Baby story time. Library story time. I mean, they're both at the library. I'll put park day in this one. Just for fun. Uh, different colors. Yeah, no. Um, I'll use this one for this one. And there's no color coding to this at all. Okay. That's the sort of thing. Um, I should probably put some trackers over here. Oh, I know. You know what? You know what else sort of fits this color scheme? Some of these ones. So I finally got around to planting some stuff out on the patio. Um, and I could totally just use some of these. So we've got, uh, what's a good color? Maybe this pink. I'll put that up here. No, no, how did that happen? My kids have been using my desk. gonna do that. Okay, did these move? Did these move? Gently, gently, gently. Ah, this is a terrible idea. Ah, 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 ah. Hey, come on. Gently, gently. It's working. It's working. I've got some adhesive coming off. Uh, okay, I might have to that's not great, is it? No. Okay. Just need to basically check on everything. I'm putting water. I'm just going to check on it every day to just make sure it's okay. Um, mostly that there's enough water. And not too much. So I'm going to be messing around with some sort of semi-automated systems. That's good enough for now. I'll leave that there. And then, like I said, I'll keep this out and handy. Um, the minutiae of like sitting down and making a to-do list, that will happen. I could use a to-do sticker though. And it's a good thing I'm almost done here because nap time is imploding. And my poor husband is trying to take care of it, but I think I need to go help. All right, it's nice and pink. We're gonna call that a springy type of a pink. <laughs> um, I'm sure you can hear them in the background. There we go. Uh, we've got we've got our week planned, and that's all that matters. Like I said, lunch, uh, dinners will go here. This will be whatever we do for our um, what's it? Our couples' night. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I think start on my daily, just so that I can. Just very briefly put a couple of things that need to happen in the morning. I have some buy nothings um, to pick up um, on the way back from uh, drop off. And then the rest will get added as a to do list, but I don't want to forget those. All right, that's what we've got for now. I think it's nice and sort of minimalist and it should look good. Um, I'll put it back in my planner, hold this up this direction, and get back to the rest of what's going on in my household today. I hope you guys have a productive day. Um, I film or I post videos about planning and lifestyle, my um, new stay at home life lifestyle. 
Uh, these videos are getting increasingly interrupted by babies, which you might find super cute. And if you like that idea, then do tune in. I post videos, like I said, every Thursday. So have a productive day. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell. And I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.